Yeah. Let's move on. Um, so um, moving on to trainer news, there's these new shoes I thought I would see that I didn't really see reviewed anywhere else that I thought looked really interesting. Um, Nike SB GTS, right? I'm not familiar with the model, don't get me wrong, but I'm also liking what they're doing with the actual colorways themselves, right? So it kind of looks similar to like an, an Air Max one put onto like an SB, put onto like a GTS sole, like you know that GTS that Supreme did back in the day with the sort of like embroidered sole, embroidered swoosh. But it looks, a, but because of how it looks with the upper, they've kind of adopted these Air Max One colorways onto it. And this first colorway is a uh, the the you know the the tip the kind of quintessential classic Nike Safari colorway. Which if you're a big fan of sneakers, you should know this colorway um, off like the back of your hand. A very kind of iconic model that's been retroed maybe six or seven times and still really does really well when it comes out. It's still a staple of most people's sneaker collection and just kind of we're very well updated in terms of the colorway that sneakers that of Nike puts out. But I think in the model, it looks really cool, man. So again, it's a Nike GTS um, SB. It's got a GTS sole, but then it's sort of like a, a Nike Air Max 1 upper. And again, I told you before, I'm not really the biggest fan of hybrids. I think they look crap for the most part, but I really like this. I think it looks bloody fantastic. Um, you got the all leather upper with the Safari mud, with the Safari kind of, um, what's it, what do you call that? Guard at the front. Um, no perforations, completely leather, all really buttery and soft. You've got like a kind of nylon. Uh, the only difference I can see here, because I think original Safaris have the leather insoles um, or leather inners. This has got like, sort of like a mesh inner. And yeah, for the most part, just like a classic, classic colorway. A nice, real leathery upper, uh, butter soft leather upper actually that will probably look good once it's all creased in and been skated in and stuff. I would imagine, you know, stuff, you know, rubbing, scratching the side of that kind of safari print, doing ollies and stuff on your skateboard will really make that front bit look really cool. And just generally, just a really, really classic and clean colorway that I'd be very um, interested in adding to my collection. Um, it's an article from Hypebeast. It says the Nike SB GT S returns to premium takes on the familiar Safari colorway. Um, the Nike SB is using the sleek GTS as a tribute to the influential Nike Sportswear release this spring. And the first homage uh, packed colorway, this is actually, of the low top sneaker shoes to appear recognizable Safari colorway. A Tinker Hatfield design shoe in 1987, an Air Safari recognizable uh, pockmark a pockmark print was inspired by the high end couches and has been used on everything from legendary Atmos take on Air Max 1 to the Air Presto and the F F Air foam posit awesome uh mid foot overlays and sushis are like and constructed of a stark black leather blah, blah 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 um down to below the thin white rumble of midsole um the nike sbgt return premium to fire is available now via atmos which is awesome i like how they're just doing this again which is nice they're making G jp exclusive shoes which is great to see hopefully we see more of it coming through in the future where they are kind of specifically released in certain models especially certain kind of like core lifestyle um tier zero kind of like you know spec level of nike products in japan only and then once it kind of picks up steam there you might be able to kind of then see it um, sold in other kind of select retailers around europe you know i think of like you know an end clothing i think of you know um a pata i think of maybe a foot patrol and then you know and then and it stays there so you can finally now get quintessential kind of like tier zero general release type shoes but they're not really sold in sides or office which is great right so not everyone's going to wear them but they're also something that you don't have to pay you know 10 times the retail value to, to kind of get them you can still probably get them pretty cheap if you buy them on stock x whatever maybe because there's not much resale value on these i don't think so um more commemorative styles are yet to follow as well in the coming months so that's obviously cool to look at again 82 dollars under 100 dollars to buy really clean and sleek design and again i'm a big fan of it man and then the second one i saw which i was really keen on was the second colorway which is like an air max one colorway that looks amazing so you've got like a sports red sort of like classic colorway that i thought that was really good and again works really I, I, again i'm not a fan of the hybrids but i just think the idea of putting that kind of um overlay on top of a gts model with those kind of colors wave combos just looks beautiful and this is another example of it and again just imagine um with the influx of people wearing kind of retro 90 DC shoes and stuff, I think this fits in really well with it. It looks very much like an old school 90s um, SB, right? It's not really. It's sort of like, you know, a mode that they've kind of reinterpreted and kind of, you know, added into the current lineup to kind of make it more interesting. But it just looks like a 90s kind of shoe, like a Kalis or something. I don't know. I just guess that I get that kind of vibe from it. This is from Flat Spot. This is a Nike SB GTS returns in premium sports red shoe. So kind of the sports red Air Max One kind of colorway, which is you know if you're familiar with it, it's a black and white. It's a kind of red and red, gray and white, uh, red um, accents with the sort of like gray with a kind of gray suede midfoot kind of area and then mesh on the toe box. 
And then you got the uh, other addition where it makes it really look interesting. The fact that they've kind of separated the uh, the outsole colorway and the midsole colorway, so you get that kind of nice bit, little black pop on the bottom, which again is very adept at because very um, leaning into the whole like um, '90s era of having kind of maybe clear outsoles with a white outsole, with clear outsoles with a white midsole, or maybe like a rubber sole on the black upper. That would look really cool if they happen in the future. But again, just a really, really clever, cleverly done model, and something that I think should be a lot more popular than what it is. I'm not, if these get skating, of course they look fucking banging. But just as a kind of lifestyle shoe with some nice stone wash denim will look perfect and it's the kind of shoe that annoyingly is available now in my size and i can burn it myself but all it takes is one trendy person one person like, say like an asap rocket to wear these and suddenly they sell out everywhere and you know you can't get them anymore but it's such a great model i would love to see this again in like the sport blue sport red maybe an all black upper style but just taking all the classic air max one style colorways and kind of adapting them to that model i think will look amazingly interesting and again just the, the idea of the sole without the bubble on it that kind of low sleek profile the fact that it's completely flat on the forefoot none of that banana tone nonsense is just a very very special model and something i'm very much a, a fan of um but inside the dense, so there's dense mesh what's the detail here dense mesh uh reinvented for the greater flex and grip the cup sole oh the cup sole too is pliable and, and a standard design and the underfoot tread features escape specific traction that puts the grip exactly where you need it to be yeah, very, very much a, a favorite of mine so far. So again, if you're not, if you haven't, if you're looking for something new to get, I don't know, from the Nike SB range, I would definitely advise to check out the Nike SB GTS available now. Um, of course, on Flatspot and all your other SB retailers and stuff.